Hey everybody, Gravy Train here with another episode of Gravy Training. So this one is a complicated epic. We're, we're looking at Sybil's epic, just released today. Um, it, this, this one's complicated as heck. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to cover everything because I've had the epic for about 20 minutes. Ruined, ruined Sybil up because Sybil wasn't ruined. Ruined a team up, and I am at a loss to cover everything that this implies. So, for once, this one is both overpowered and creates tactical opportunity. So I'm kind of unsure from a game balance standpoint how I feel about it. As far as a value. Um, this one's worth spending on. Um, yeah, <laughs> at least the $20 version. Um, but you wouldn't go wrong spending with the $100 version either. Um, if you're into that sort of thing, not that you have to, but, um, this one is, there's a lot to it. So let, let's get into what it is and then I'll kind of show you what I mean in PvP. So... The epic itself is defense, attack, max health, which is just kind of gross. Uh, the only way it would have been worse is if it was attack defense, like worse in a powerful way. I think this is, is decent though. I've actually got mine roomed up for defense, so defense, attack, max health, 30% chance to deal 3x damage, and shifts to the target element, cleanses all debuffs on Sybil and gains 20% max health back. So you basically heal yourself for 20% max health, do three times damage, and change color to that element, which provides its own set of um, strategic possibilities, because which I'll get into. So the other thing is uh, she does also get a epic passive which is epic double tap so before she would do a double attack every time she did a ranged single target attack now the entire team does follow up with a ranged single target attack everyone does a basic follow-up attack every hero that does a basic or does a, a ranged single target attack does a follow-up so Thinking about that, you've got all sorts of heroes that do ranged single target attacks. All, almost all the elves, uh, Deadeye, Torchy, um, depending on, I, I'm going to have to check and see how some of these are classified. Rayla does a, a couple, well one is melee at least, one might be ranged. Um, but there's a lot of heroes, Jin, Yan. Um, oh god, I didn't even think of Jin and Yan together. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you, 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 dragons, <laughs> uh, all the dragons do ranged single target attacks, among other things, like they have ranged single target attacks, plus their basic attacks, like, this is, this is opening things up quite a bit more than I ex was thinking about initially, um, but it requires Sybil. But still, like you're 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 opening up quite a bit here. So anyhow, I've got my Sybil currently. Now you could go a couple of ways. You could go all attack um, with three enablers. You could go all defense with three enablers, like I have. So I went for an evasion defensive, which I might get rid of because she doesn't really need that. Uh, then a Guardian, I might actually go for a friggin' Tank Rune. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go for a friggin' Tank Rune. Um, because... Or a, ooh, a Life Rune. That has interesting ramifications. What does this turn my stats to? Still 29k with 28k health. I like that. Because I'm gonna get 6,000 health every time I do an epic attack. Uh, so anyhow, yeah, so changing this up, I have a life rune, although you can go for a tank rune here. 
because round one, the thing, the reason I didn't go with the with the evasion round one is round one, she has invulnerability, and while that's not foolproof, it's pretty strong. So there's no reason to worry about evasion because she can't take damage unless somebody has shield piercing. Um, and on defense, you're not going to typically get hit by shield piercing. So anyhow, then I. Three defensive enablers and a guardian rune, so kind of turtle, um, especially with the the defense and the health. And this defense is going to last a few rounds. So, um, and even without that, the, the defense is still going to be high. The health is still going to be high. Now I've got that team paired up right now. Solaris is one of the key players, and my Solaris is just as crazy 27,000 defense 27,000 health so those two will be survivable as heck and at, at that point you can almost throw any other combination of stuff now i've also been playing around now grandar is going to be kind of a counter to Sybil now too but i've been playing around with Jin. i've been playing around with uh, I haven't tried Yan yet, um, I haven't tried Lily yet, although her single target attacks being, epic attacks being twice. Lorelei, on the other hand, uh, Lorelei is going to provide all that extra, uh, all the perks of Lorelei, plus the basic attack is a ranged single target attack, so you can use the basic attack. I've, my Lorelei is all tainted. So, 20,000 attack, 11,000 hit points. She'll die really easily if she gets hit, but the idea is that I've got Solaris, I can res her. But I'm going to be providing that passive right away to the heroes. And then another hero that is just amazing, and I almost hesitate to share this, although people will see it, is... Uh, my buddy, my favorite hero, Deadeye. So I've got my Deadeye ruined um, mostly attack. Um, I could definitely go higher, uh, but he's ruined for got an evasion and a and an electric healer rune, and that's the only reason that one is is defensive. Um, one tainted, one warrior, and an aversion. And the warrior is because all of his attacks, except for his S3, are going to be ranged single target attacks. And he's going to be causing ranged single target attacks. So Deadeye is going to shine uh, with this hero, with Sybil as well. So that's why I've got the warrior in. I'm actually going to remove this aversion and put another warrior. Because the more follow-up attacks that he does, chilling warrior... Taunt. Let's see what I have here. I might. Oh, there's a warrior. And damage pen. There we go. Put that one. Upgrade it and be good to go. All right. So that will give me 40% chance to do an extra basic attack, and his actual stats are the attack is up to about 12,000, which, I mean, Deadeye is never going to have amazing attack, but uh, he'll have decent then. And anyhow, so those are going to be kind of the key players. I'm going to do more PvP with this hero on the video than I usually do, just because I want to show, like... Just how crazy it gets. So here's against dragons. This isn't the top dragon team ever, but it's all dragons. The, or the rune power is decent. Not all five star. So, but this is the kind of team that I'm running. And you know what? I'm actually going to swap the order of Deadeye and put Deadeye third and Solaris. Let's see how this goes. Now, there, there's other variations on this. I've got Jin in the last spot. You could do... Um, I, I'm looking at all sorts of different teams, but remember a couple of things. So Deadeye is going to follow up any any um, crit 
from a yellow hero or an honor bound hero, a light hero or an honor bound hero. So if she crits, he's going to follow up. But also if <laughs> if uh, Sybil changes color, we're going to follow up there. Now, granted, that was all just because of um, because of Lorelei being crazy offensive. I'm just going to remove that taunt. And now we're going to see the power of ranged physical attacks. Yeah, look at all those follow-up attacks. Boom, 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 boom. So that's kind of the power of what that epic is going to bring. So it doesn't necessarily make Sybil overpowered herself. But it makes everybody on the team that much stronger. So because this is more than just like all dragons do this, it's all range single target attacks. There's going to be heroes that come out of nowhere. Indigo, for example. I want to be messing around with Indigo. Like Indigo gives you energy every single time she crits. So all those follow-ups that she does because she's doing ranged single target attacks, and I think all of her attacks are ranged single target attacks, she's just going to be an energy battery. Like, your entire team is going to always be max energy. Um, you combine that with, like, heroes that are going to give haste, um, stuff like that. I mean, there's... Yeah, it's going to get disgusting. So we're only going to start seeing this grow. That's why I don't think I'm going to be able to do... I'm not going to be able to cover every scenario for this, but that just giving you the idea about what the impact of this can really be. Here's the time, really. If you're going to be the type to go out and experiment, now is the time to do it. Like, play around with different combinations and different synergies. I don't necessarily agree with giving Sybil more power to the power creep, but at the same point, I mean, this is this is going to open up the meta a bit. All right, so I want to get rid of all those ugly buffs, so I'm not going to do the single target attack. And I can get rid of all of them. Oh, I didn't get flying. That's why. That's frustrating. All right. No big deal. Let's just... Let's kill hmm. We're gonna kill uh Serenity. Yeah, that's just gross. Nobody died, so we're going to just do an AoE attack for some heals. That's the thing, too. 20% healing means that every time he does, or every time she does an epic attack, uh, we just lost corpses, of course. Um, yeah. At this point, I want to try to get rid of Nivius again. There's nobody to res, so I'm pretty much host. This battle's not worth continuing. I wasn't paying attention. Gotta be careful of getting rid of those corpses. Um, another option you could do, so at this Granted, that's not level 80. I'm going to go and put our buddy Nivius in there. Oh, and once again, um, just uh, as we're sitting here waiting for stuff to happen, I just want to give a thanks to Arigon, A-R-Y-G-O-N, uh, for putting together this really awesome um, 
uh, this really awesome overlay is the word that I'm trying to think of. Sorry, I haven't had much caffeine yet today. Uh, putting together this really awesome overlay, I love it. Uh, it's gotten great feedback from people. Um, yeah, thank you for doing that for me. I might need to put some more tainteds on that eye. Uh, I'm going to go for the epic attack. So we turned purple. Now let's just do some finishing off. Oh, because I killed him, no follow ups. Uh, melee physical ranged water attack on all enemies. So the only thing that she's going to benefit from is the single target. But obviously that works out well. So then I'm thinking one other possible combination we'll use against the, this team is instead of using her, throwing in Alrakis then too. So this team is going to be pretty, pretty disgusting. Because now everybody is ranged. Deadeye is going to do all those uh, leading attacks and everything else. And this is going to be the last one we do for the video. Because I want to leave room for... Oh, I guess Deadeye's not doing much while he's dead. Um, Alrakis will, however. Alright, but notice... Okay, so... Because I went super defensive, Sybil is still alive. And I'm going to get healed, or maybe I'm not. That evasion coming in clutch, and now it doesn't matter because Nivius is alive. It's become red. Why did that? Oh, because I got impaired? Who did I get impaired by? Interesting. Doesn't matter, though, because now automatic. Oh, Archon. I didn't see our cut on the field, and I was like, why am I impaired? But okay, yeah, there you go. So that is the epic. Once again, this is one that you will not go wrong spending on, whether you spend 20 bucks or 100 bucks. This one is just, it's definitely going to open up a lot. I grudgingly admit that... This one will definitely be a positive, I think, on the meta right now. So, anyhow, let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff, especially a thumbs up on the video. It really does help. Uh, and tell your friends, tell your guildmates, and have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.